Hello everyone, I'm ActorFeezy87 and this is Let's Play Trails Through Daybreak Part 49. In the previous video we finally finished up all of our errands and little activities and now we can somewhat progress the main plot by going to fight a monster. Oh boy, are we excited? Are we excited, Aaron? My Taking buddy and now. potentially pal. I won't call you my pal yet, but maybe one day, one day we could be pals. Get in the truck, Aaron. Should we head over to the park now? You best take care of everything that needs doing here before we go. Eh, you know, if, if it's important, I would have remembered to do it, probably. Van contacted the backup members. Oh man, how does that feel, Anya's and Fairy? You're the backup members. Before long, everyone was gathered in front of the garage and ready to go. Oh, we should we should have taken a bath. I don't know if we were if we we're souped up. So the Memorial Park is a place people from the capital go to relax? That's right, whole families sometimes go there for picnics, for example. It's also popular for couples going on dates since it's split into multiple areas, each with their own natural charms. This sounds like a perfect place to do some combat drills. No, it doesn't. This moth right here never changes. It's within walking distance if you want to go that way, but most people just head there by car, by bus. It's about 30 minutes from here in the car. Kind of a trek. I guess we got no choice. Let's see what this pickup gears is like to ride. Oh, that's right. This will be your first time in Van's car. You better not get a dirty punk ass. A little late for that. Poor thing probably stinks. Of old man musk after years of carrying you around. I'm going to murder you someday, you little shit. Oh, excuse me. Wait, this number belongs to. Who could it be? Who could it possibly be? Hello? Yes, I'm glad you called, actually. I'm afraid I might be back a little late today, you see. What? From my family? But I I'm about to... Fair. Well, I'm not going to force you to come back. It's all up to you. Message received. I'm on my way. Yes, of course. Goodbye for now, then. It's okay, you can just ta tag her in, in, in your place. I'm so sorry. Something important's come up that I really need to take care of. Eh, yeah, don't sweat it. I'm sweating. Uh, go do whatever you gotta do. The rest of us can handle a few stray critters. I'm sure you can, but please be careful. Again, my apologies. I'll make my way back to the office as soon as I'm done. Oh, she's running. Huh. What was that all about? Anya doesn't usually lose her composure like that. Eh, just let her do her thing. We got our job done and be back here by this evening. Vroom. It's such a shame Anya's got called away. I was like hoping this would be our first four spriggan as a team of four. If school, or in this case, family comes knocking, there ain't much she can do about it. I guess you wouldn't know about that anymore, fairy. Haha! <laughs> Sorry, too soon. Uh, calls! Uh, calls out comes with the territory of part-time jobs? Hmm. You know, there's something fishy with that girl, and I just don't mean the Genesis stuff. What are you talking about? I think our whole backstory might be made up. Epstein's like mega famous. Dude invented the orbit. She really related to a big shot like him? Also, her last name, Claudel, is totally made up. What, you really think so? Man, you are sharp. I don't think she pulled the name out of a hat, though. Every time she introduces herself, she seems proud, but also a little guilty. I don't think that's her mother's maiden name or something. Huh. You saw her through her, too, huh? Anyway, there's no reason to use a fake name unless the real one's worth hiding. And the best, I bet I'd say it's actually... Like, just a minute, I'm having trouble keeping up here. But if Anya's is keeping the secret from us, she must have a reason. I don't think we should be prying. Come on, small fry. I know deep down you want to find out too. You want to understand why she'd hide stuff from the people she claims are her friends. Well... Maybe people calling you the prodigy of Longpo is just a fluke. Someone with that rep would know better than to gossip about a teenager when they ain't even around. Everyone's got a secret or two they don't want to share, even with folks they call their friends. 
Leaving home is to turn you into a real small-minded man, if you can't understand that. Probably, you know what they say about small-minded men, they're also small in the... Ah, da, I was being a bit childish. In the end, she's just another teenage girl, so I guess it doesn't really matter who she is or where she's from. But she's supposed to be watching my back in battle. But I at least want to know how serious she is about all this. I suspect that that answer is more than any of us. Yeah, I'm with you there. She doesn't know diddly about combat compared to the rest of us, yet she still chooses to fight alongside us. In this short time, she's already faced a lifetime's worth of danger because of it, too. Hmm. So this ride here isn't half bad, after all. Can't this tin can go any faster? I'm not getting any younger here. Cut the crapper, I'm leaving you on the side of the road. Broom. This park's kind of far away. I mean, I guess when they said it was 30 minutes, I was a little, like, skeptical, but it's, like, way far away from the actual capital. It's more like a national park than, like, you know, a park in the city. The so fresh out here. Because I was thinking, like, you know, like a park you see in a city, but this is more like a forest. I would have figured they'd have a green patch like this right next to the capital. Looks empty, though. Where are all the people? Seems like they've had the place closed off since yesterday due to the whole monster problem. Otherwise, it'd be a pile of buses and people right in front of us. Hey, you're right. It really is closed. Except for that guy. He has to work. Fuck him. We don't care if he gets eaten. They should know we're coming. Let's have a chat with the ranger. I mean, I guess there's a gate, but... And broom guy. We don't care if broom guy gets eaten. There's many broom guys out there, okay? We can replace him in a heartbeat. Oh, it's this guy. Freaking of all the days to close the park, they had to do it for today. There's hardly any buses out here, too. We had no way of getting back to town. Our big date is ruined. That's a shame, brother. Hate to see a lovely couple's parade get rained on so hard. Tell you what, why don't I introduce you cool cats to a groovy restaurant on the way back to town? We can still save this date. You in? Uh, for real? Sure, we'd love to by any means. Alright. Anything new? You folks just drive up. Hate to break it to you, but we're closed for the day. Actually, we're here on business. Van explained. Ah, so you're the ones who are coming in to help, huh? Yeah, they told me to expect you. Sounds like you guys have a really nasty monster in your hands. Yeah, it happens from time to time. Unfortunately, the environment attracts them. Usually, the Bracers send out a big squad when this sort of thing happens, but I guess they can send in ch children this time. Are you uh, three going to be okay going in alone? Well, we're not alone, there's three of us. Yeah, we'll be fine. Nothing we haven't seen before. Mind opening the gate? Of course, go right in. Thanks for taking care of this for us. I will need to sign a liability waiver. Once you into the park, take a right and head over to the waterfront. You'll find the monster there. Almost time for me to trade place. My shift's nearly up. Someone else will probably be posted here when you get back. Make sure to return the key to them when you're ready to leave, all right? No problem. Let's get out of here and find us that monster. Really busy over here. Somebody else will be posted here. Okay. Oh, is this, is this person? Going by information, the monster should be somewhere along this path. Let's try and get this thing cleared out before sunset so we can head back while there's still light out. Say, if we do a good job here, think you could treat us to someplace nice in the entertainment district? Yeah, right in your dreams, kid. Is that statue who I think it is? Yep, Sheena Dirk, Calvard's most famous revolutionary. The mother of Calvardian democracy in the stone. Yeah, they opened this park and nature preserve in her memory after she died. It is a pretty cool statue. When the revolution started, she was all 20 years old, give or take. Still just a student. She brought together a pretty curlful band of folks to make it all happen. He even had to take on the Erebonian army when it intervened. Yep, Erebonia, pieces of shit. <laughs> Time immemorial. <laughs> yeah, that's a hell of a lot to put on your plate. Girl almost had some real spunk to pull all that off. Totally, her statue's so beautiful. She looks so dignified. I remember Abby mentioning how he saw a statue of the Lance Bane when he went to the Empire a long time ago, and... 
Some weirdos put some pretzels out in front of it. What's the matter? Uh, nothing. It's just there's something about it that looks familiar to me. Actually, hang on. I get the same feeling too, weirdly enough. Not sure why. Doesn't really resemble any of the western chicks I picked up back in Longport. Picked up? Like, off the ground? Don't, don't, you don't even know what that means? This is why little kids are always so hard to talk to. Gotta explain every tiny thing to them. Why do these two insist they recognize her? I'm sure you're bound to run into her in textbooks, but other than that... I mean, they I wouldn't have honestly made that connection that they're hinting at if they weren't so direct, so I kind of wish they weren't so direct about it. Why would you pick up women? Don't, did they need to be carried for some reason? Forget it, that said anything. Plus, I was lying anyway. Enough, you two. We're home business. Let's get down to it. Anything over here? I know you're not gonna let me, but what if? Cowards. Cowards, what does this say? That shit is, I think, either upside down or in a different language. Parts of it look like it's just in a different, like, like it's just gibberish? Slash not English, basically the same thing, am I right? Ha <laughs> ha! Or the letters are upside down. Slash backwards. Oh, get a load of this view. This is a perfect place for us to train. So, ancient Zemirian healing machine in the national park. That's all you ever think about, isn't it? Not that I uh, disagree. He is nice. There is better maintained, but don't get complacent. One wrong step, and you'll take a dive straight into the lake. There's, it's okay, Van. There's no fall damage. Come on, what do you take me for, huh? You sure know a lot about this place, though. What gives? Oh, I get it. Must because it's the perfect place for an old fart like you to go on walks. I'm not that much older than you, damn it. I don't know why. I used to come here with the lame when we were students. Really now? The beauty's played herself, huh? Does seem like a pretty obvious date spot. Oh, what kind of spot? Wait, like the nut? Are you saying Van and Elaine used to... Can we not have this conversation? Forget my love life and look over there. Man, looks worse than I was expecting. Is it always this bad? Not normally, no. Usually on top of their pest control here because of all the visitors. If only they had some lights they could put up that supposedly repel monsters. It smells like a case of our target calling him over here and investigating the place. Or infesting the place. Then we should smack him around. Guess they can say they're reminiscent about your schoolboy days when we see Beauty's Blade again. I never should have said anything. Come on, you two. Let's get to work already. It's okay. Van's uh, fate is already locked in stone as a creep. We don't have age-appropriate relationships anymore, okay? That shit's out the window. What am I doing? Woo, that hits the spot. I guess that's not really fair. Only like 30% of the relationships in CS4 were kind of cringe. Look out! Uh, sneaky little rodent! <laughs> How do we play this game? Keep an eye out for ambushes. <laughs> Be more careful next time. Gotcha. What ambushes? <laughs> What are you talking about? Also, what rodent? Walk me around, you damn brat. You snooze, you lose. Well, we're off to a good start. This'll hmm? hurt. Oh, oh my god, it's so it's hot. Make it count, Aaron. Oh wait, that's art based, isn't it? Rise and shine, small fry. You're not Kurt. You'll never be Kurt. Have some more. Ben! Here's some extra. Hit him fast, fairy. Sucker. It's go time. Have some more. Couldn't take your eyes off me, right? You're on fire, Aaron. He didn't do anything. Don't mind me. We're just we're just walking. We're just doing a little walkies. Oh yeah, the oh yeah, because Anya isn't in the party. The 
Treasure uh, chests don't pop like up chest. anymore? Or maybe they do, it's just shorter range? Because didn't she have the, like, treasure chest show up on the map skill? I don't Wanna think these, are, these guys do. Nah, we can clear out other stuff. So look at these little fuckers. Alright, we'll fight them. <laughs> Let's get to work! Gotcha! How do I switch? You're stunned? Yeah, let's try not to spin. Which HP? Oh, yeah, you're almost dead. I was looking at the stun gauge, I guess. I'm like, how is he at max HP? Nice. That went great. Pretty sprightly for an old guy. Yeah, the old jokes are a when little, like, I get Wanna it. Clear him out? But he doesn't need to say it literally every two seconds. Looks like some good loot. Oh. <laughs> Note to self, do not give any of those to fit to Anya. She didn't earn it. Looks like some good loot. Okay, she can only have access to Sephith that was gained while she was in the party. I will be keeping a strict mental tally. <sighs> Are we there yet? Or at least halfway there? Tired already? <laughs> You're so pathetic. <laughs> Says the guy who let the little monster get the drop on him. Got his ass? You want to go, Pipsqueak? Yeah, let's go! Adio, save me. Little bro's like, oh my god, I've got so much better in endurance than the child. I'm so cool. Screw. Oh, looks like a chest. Mute. Ah, oh boy, my favorite. I think there's been like two fights in the entire series where Mute That's is actually a useful. Big waterfall. Calvert sure has a lot of water, huh? I guess. Probably more than what you've got back home. Alright, are we there yet? We are pretty much there. How doth one heal? Oh yeah, do we need to change anything? Because we don't have Chickadee with us? We just don't have anything to give you. If we get a super helium machine, we will give you a break. So that you can at least Whoa, fill that slot. Get a load of that lake! It's huge! Sure is. It's pretty nor Perfect normal place to take lake a girl size. Out on a rendezvous boat ride. Ah, super huh, helium machine. That's a fun idea. Are you two for real? You're getting along now? But before you get on the boat, you will have to pick up the girl and place her in the boat. Very important, fairy. Don't forget that. What am I looking for? I would like to go to ordinance settings, and then you go to... Well, first, we'll make our... You already have an attack and everything. Do we give a shit about any of this stuff? Not really. Break me? We have one. Maybe one another one. Diamond ring. Diamond ring. Hmm. Diamond rings. Then we can we go here. In this menu, which is very different from the other menu, of course. My action to. I mean, do we want those there or here? I 
I, I know, but can you just like auto unequip it? I really gotta. So you just get like resist stuff as opposed to art stuff. I don't really care about your hearts. Van has our hit, right? He does not. Well, he has ass needs it because he's the most missing. I thought we already had one. And you have an action too. Is there any reason we want this equipped? to custom open slots. This is art. We're just gonna, we just need to find something to equip. It doesn't really matter. Sure, more hit so that your ass will stop missing, please. I beg of you. And I don't really care. Sure, just a strike. And an airy verse. Why not? Why not? Big, big hypno toad. Rude. Go time! You would not hit Lil Bro when he has his insights. So, I mean, he wouldn't have been on a counter anyway, I guess. Now that we think about it, but still. Time to go all out! Send you flying! Ah! Here goes! Out with the bed! A chance! What up, it's your boy Van? Think fast. Take this. Hit him fast, Barry. Oh, that's not big enough. Pull out all the stops. This'll hurt. Show me what you got. Okay, just don't get killed. <laughs> Actually, so unbelievably rude. Thanks, pal. A chance. This'll hurt. Here goes. Oh, yeah, I forgot that doesn't actually use your turn. Brother, stop getting hit. You're posting cringe in the chat. Make it count, Aaron. Yeah, I mean we do have. Is this heal? I need to rest up. It doesn't say anything about stat down. Which historically, healing ailments and healing stat down have been different. Cyclops activate. the edge of the arena body's starting to feel heavy there you are like hell you are brother my hate it's done nothing <laughs> sorry for that also little bro got the double move not fair Eat this sucker talent. now you will fart
Think fast. Take this. I won't give up. Zypha, activate. Oh, that hits her all the way over there? Damn. Don't give up! Zypha, activate! Uh, I mean, may as well. He's not really weak I to it. To Actually, I'd rather you just heal. There. Yeah. A chance! Okay, he's almost stunned, and then we can actually do some damage. But... Show me what you got. Do your worst. It's okay, Van. You won't die, probably. Make it count, Aaron. Eat this. Well, I mean, if you're going to get hit regardless by the Great Recital, you actually should be standing next to each other. That was like the whole point of, um, having you guys spread out as I didn't think that had infinite range. Okay, why do you keep getting the CP? I don't need you to have the CP. Hopefully this stuns. It did. Ben! Time for the main. Make it count, Aaron. Eat this, sucker. Hey! Some of this. Now you will fart. Lobro still got a lot of HP. This will hurt. <laughs> Not getting through. Do your work. Too slow. Ooh, ooh, uh, uh. Like hell you are. Get his ass. He deserves it. A chance. Also, I didn't notice until like hell you are. Like, because I guess I never really paid attention. And this is just Bring the way it's it worked for a thousand years. That C that S breaks don't actually use all your C fee anymore. Show me what you got. <laughs> Make it like I'd kind of noticed that it felt like they weren't using all of our CP, but I just thought maybe I wasn't paying attention. Like they gave more CP Let back now. <laughs> Here's some extra. You're fine, you're fine. Which one of these does more damage? This one? There! Life is giant, small fry! Uh... Well, this sucks. I mean, this I guess more hurts. damage is a... relative... <laughs> amount? That's how we could have died there if you'd done another great recital and we didn't kill. Because I kind of just assumed that spell would kill, so I didn't even pay attention to if he was acting next. And that's how you do it. You're an intermediate level in your Gekka school skills, right? If someone whose main focus is being an ass, you can actually back up your smack talk when you want to. Not to mention, it's pretty neat how your fighting style has a dance rhythm to it. Your skills are still a little shaky in places, but I mean, I guess you did okay or whatever. C get off your high horse, small fry. Put your arts to some actual use, and then we can talk. No shards, whatever you call them. There's room for improvement there for sure. Knock it off, you two. At least you can compensate for each other's weaknesses. Counts for a lot, believe it or not. I'd say that at this point, we're pretty well balanced during combat. No, our ass is not, man. We, are, we don't really have any good way to heal still. True, between the two of us up front and me at mid range, we got the offensive side pretty covered. Put on your support arts and we can handle just about any fight we get into. Eh, I guess it's true we're coming along as a team. And alone's not gonna be enough to take them down. But we already took them down. They got their ass beat. It was like embarrassing. No argument there. I won't let myself fall behind, promise. Thanks for always giving it to me straight, Aaron. I appreciate the honesty. I mean, at least in Melchior, there was like the 
oh, well, it's because you got a lane. Like, you know, the game could cope there. And be like, no, he's, he's not actually like a little, little weak boy who didn't do anything the entire fight. It was just because a lane was there. If a lane wasn't there, you would have totally gotten steamrolled. Don't sweat it. We all just want to be well-oiled machine at the end of the day. What matters is we're done with this pain in the ass job. It was made like a palm and... You know, whatever happened to palms? I ain't seen one of them yet. What the? Who are they? I see a handful of them. They look like civilians. Who knows? Another ranger is supposed to be changing shifts, but I don't like what's going on. That's a wrap. Mira deposit confirmed. Plus law. Boo! Boo! Any fishing? Dark Memorial Park's largest lake spanned in an area of roughly 90,000 square arch. Crystal clear, the water's vibrant hues at dusk make it one of the Republic's most beautiful, captivating landmarks. Is it crystal clear? Yeah, I, mean, I guess it's pretty clear. Alrighty, I guess we're going to... Do we want to teleport back? Or can we teleport back? It looks like the floodgates are open, man. Are they filming inside? They are filming something. This location is perfect. It's exactly how I imagined it. All good to go over there, Nima? Yes. Ready when you are. Though, are you sure it's such a good idea to wander in like this? It sounded like the ranger wanted us to wait until after he changed shifts. Isn't it strange that the park is closed on a holiday, too? What if something happened? You worry too much. We scheduled an appointment ahead of time. It's all good. Besides, you're so in demand right now. If I let this opportunity pass, they'd have my hide. Now, the weather's looking a little suspect, so let's film what we came here for while we still can. Uh, all right. If you're sure. All set, sir. Good positions, people. All right, Nina, let's start with scene 17-2 and get you out of these clothes. <gasps> Wolf, wolf, wolfies? Ah! Why are there monsters here? Uh, get away from me! Get away! Get down! Oh, she was gonna have to unleash her dark passenger. <laughs> Bunch of runts. Hey, are you okay? Who are... We'll talk later. You guys stay back for now. Let's play. I got baited into a double fight again. Oh, God. that that shit is hell. Well, have fun, Van. At least the dude's got insight, so he Going maybe will in. live. Or maybe they don't do any damage. That's also a possibility. Come on. Party. Brother. Sister. Like hell you are! We got one slow in, I guess. Okay, they don't do that much damage. Okay, they do like they do some are. damage. Don't be sorry for that! I mean, this is one of those things where we we just needed an S craft. If we had an S craft, I'll we would be I'll crush them all at once! In a much better position. <laughs> Get his ass. That it? My move now. Yeah, we really, we just need somebody to get enough CP to ult. Granted, we don't soul. actually have a, a boosty boy. Let's party! This is where I would cast my water soul. or earth Let's skill. Take that! Take this! Oh, 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 CP, CP. That it? Don't screw with me! Perfect chance. Okay, now just don't die. That's all. Uh, operation, don't let fairy die. Now her ult Show does do negative damage. Here 
You're lucky. I'm just getting warmed up. Whoa, they're amazing. Losers might have brought a whole pack, but honestly, that frog we fought was worse. Nothing to it. We could take them all. hey it's me. Oh, crap. Reinforcements. Friggin', friggin', frig, friggerson. I don't know if I can make it. Go, blue lady. Do your thing. I've got this. Oh, no, it's Fee. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like they're hinting that blue lady's important. She's fast. Her moves are crazy. The way she was, like, Who acting like hell? she was going to do something but didn't <laughs> want to. Well, I won't say no to a little help. You two hold down the fort here. Thanks. Now let's clear these guys out. You read my mind, Sylphied. Okay, guess they know each other. I'll show no mercy. All right, what do you do here exactly? Now's a good time to boost. Uh, just turn your freaking AI off, man. Pull out all the stops. Come on, Fee, I didn't expect you to post cringe. So does stealth do what it used to do? I presume so. Activating skill. Here goes. Energy output at max. This just hit this just hits the whole screen, I guess. Because I don't see a targeting thing. Pull out all the stuff. Activating Getting skill. Go, go, go. One, one, one. Two, 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 three. three. Boost gauge limit crushed. That's how it goes. Level 32, what the hell, V? She got she got Metroided. Should be a level 132. I guess I said 33, but you know what I mean. Hi the Burger Sweat your friends are fine too. Nice, guess that's a wrap. Uh, target's neutralized. Are you guys okay? I wasn't sure we would make it. That was sensational. Thank you so much. You're all heroes. Uh, who are you people? Everything okay over there? Oh, <laughs> glad that little surprise is behind us. You said it. Thank you all so much for saving us. It's okay, really. You don't have to keep repeating yourself. We got a nice little payout from your director friend there. As far as I'm concerned, that's all the thanks I need. Are you sure it's okay? Yeah, they'd be dead. Plus, he's got money. It's not like we're, you know, begging for somebody who can't afford to pay us. Absolutely! I never imagined we'd be attacked by monsters! If anything happened to Nina or my staff, it would have been a major loss of our new project. The entire film industry, even. I could have got sued! I feel awful about this. If I'd stayed on top of things better, none of this would have happened. I guess in the chaos surrounding the sudden closure of the park, nobody remembered to get in touch with you. Ah, water under the bridge. It all turned out fine in the end. Anyway, you are crowd solutions people were incredible back there. What can I do to convince you all to come work for me as stunt doubles or extras of my next project? Oh boy, you sure focus on the important things quick. Anyway, you guys work for United Star, yeah? United Star, it's a pretty big name movie studio. Wait, hold on, Nina, as in... That's right. I'm sorry for not introducing myself sooner. I'm the film actress, Nina Fenley. It's flattering that you've heard of me. I'm still fairly new to the industry, really. Whoa, a real actress. You get to be in front of the camera, that's so cool. Maybe be my ass, they're pretty damn popular these days. You're like the number one Easterner in the film business. Let's say Miss Finley here is one of the most up-and-coming actresses of her generation, period. I've seen a handful of your flicks, and they've all been worth the watch. Ah, oh, thank you. I'm glad you like them. Though, to be honest, I think I still have some catching up to do before I'll be on the level of my mentor, Judith. You must mean Judith Lanster. Yeah, I forgot you two signed with the same agency. I remember that name. Isn't that... Weird lady who dresses up as a cat? Uh, oh yeah, because he wasn't everything? here. He doesn't know. He lacks critical information. 
What, what's up with you two? And then don't worry about it. Don't forget about our bold bracer friend who jumped into the fray either. So impressive at such a young age and a real catch between you and Beauty Blade, the guild's not doing bad for itself these Glad days. Glad to be of service. I guess some wires got crossed with park management. They contacted me, asking if I could take care of a monster out here. I was a little late for what I came for, apparently, but I'd still call it a job well done. Is Fee? Anyway, I'm Fee Clausel. I'm from the Erebonian Embracer Guild, but I'm posted at the Edith branch as of yesterday. Nice to meet you all. I didn't realize you were from the Empire. Thanks again for all your help. Don't mention it. Keeping the public safe is all in a day's work for us. Though in this case, I got shown up a little in that department. Nah, your time was great. Now the second, we wouldn't have made it in time. I can see why people have been talking about you for ages. Glad to hear it. You're not half bad yourself, Spriggan. Okay, maybe he doesn't. They don't actually know each other. He just knows of her. Which is kind of what I figured, but... It's Sylphie, it really is her. Funza has got some killer moves, I'll give her that. If you don't need a ride back to the capital, I'm more than happy to take you back. It's fine, I came here by car anyway. My friends are going to coming back to pick me up. In the meantime, I'm going to double check to make sure there's nothing else nasty lurking around. Are you really going to be okay? It's pretty dangerous all by yourself, though maybe not for you. I'll be okay. I've handled more than my fair share over the years. Eh, at least as many as your boss here. Uh, high praise coming from you. Guess and Elaine and the Immovable have talked to you about me? A little bit. Zen says he likes to act like a bad boy. If you eat down, you're an old softy. He'll take. What do you mean old? He'll take on just by anybody's request. What's gonna get a chat with a certain walking slab of muscle later? <laughs> where's the lad? He's got your number. <laughs> Old fee meet the new fee. You know, I'll let you guys go now. We can save the chat for another day. I'll uh, I'd leave soon if I were you. It's about to get dark, and it sounds like we got rain on the way. Thanks for the tip. Catch you later, Sylphie. I mean, um, Clausel. All right, catch you later, Spriggan. And you guys too. Thank you, thank you. Is that gonna be a running theme where you fight a monster and then they're like, jokes on you, here's another fight? What's the matter, small frog? Okay, I do need to end this video. Because I do need to like, leave soon, but... Is this about that bracer girl we just um, met? We may have an abrupt really. ending, but... Just, a, just as a forewarning? I think someone I was close to has mentioned her before. I was hoping we'd have the chance to meet someday, but once she was in front of me, I just froze up. Hey, you'll get more chances. Use the time till then to get your feelings in order. Man. Yeah, I mean, she'll show back up again. I mean, she was a, she was a playable character. You're right. Next time, I'll say everything I've been wanting to say. Nice pep talk, Pops. Not that I have any clue what you guys are talking about, though. Oh, little Aaron feeling left out. <laughs> Tell no. You sure know how to stay busy while on the job, don't you? Ran up, down, and all around the city, and we even headed to its outskirts. Is this what every day is going to be like? Nah, we usually have more free time. We'll have busy days like this every now and then. Why, are you afraid of a little elbow grease? <laughs> As if. I'm never opposed to getting my hands dirty as long as the work's not boring. Today's job's definitely worth that. Good, because there's plenty more where that came from. Almost forgot, do you mind if we drop by the roast, uh, roastery in the 9th district? All I'd ask me if I could get some coffee beans while you're we out. Got it, we can make a quick stop. Can we make a quick stop to the save? Damn, a small fry, why make this trip longer than it needs to be? It's raining. There goes the paint job. Your car can't deal with rain? 
On the way back, they stopped to purchase some coffee beans from a roastery near the market in the 9th district. And by the time they returned to Old Town, the rain was coming down even more heavily. Huh. Looks like she's finished whatever she needed to deal, deal with. Can't believe she actually waited here. Start straight laces, I swear. Uh, welcome back, everyone. How did things go at the park? You could wait inside. Yeah, it was no problem at all. Something up? You look oddly tired. I, I do. I can't imagine why. I really can't apologize enough for walking off like that during work hours, though. So you're the Spriggan, are you? It's me. Esquire William the Third, or whatever name I gave you. Huh? Who's this right? What are you doing here, Albert? Oh god, Albert, that's even more, like, insulting of a name I- anything I could've come up with. No offense to any Alberts in chat. A classmate of yours? Should've put two and two together when I saw the uniform. Your boyfriend or something? Is he? No, he's, uh, just a classmate. Boom, roasted. Albert. His I'll title? Just, come out and say it. just a classmate? Take your poisonous fangs out of my friend. Huh? Huh? Albert, what are you saying? I've heard a lot of unpleasant rumors about you. Yeah, I've heard a lot of unpleasant rumors about you. Heard of something called an Albert piercing? Do you know anything about that, Albert? They call you a good-for-nothing who takes on all manner of borderline criminal requests. You're just taking advantage of her kind nature to force her to do your dirty work, aren't you? Yeah, pretty much. Now, hold on, you got Van all wrong. Sorry, but stay out of this, Agnes. Well? Aren't you going to deny it? You can't, can you? Me, when I walk up and start spouting some insane shit and the person doesn't instantly respond? Ha! You must, you not denying it means that you can't deny it because my crazy deranged theory is true. Slow your roll there, kiddo. This is about when she got back real late a while ago. Guess that's what made you start worrying about her, huh? Especially now that she's getting calls from uh, home. How do you? Anyone connect the dots and the clues this obvious? How naive can you get? Seems like a nice guy to me. Well, what's wrong with being concerned about your friends? This all started because you casually decided to hire her without thinking of the consequences. If word was to get out that Agnes is working with seedy people like you, it would put her father in a very... Albert! I'm sorry. I said too much, but I still... Uh oh Who's her dad? There you are! I knew we'd find you here. You really need to stop charging in like a bull in a glass shop, Albert. <laughs> he never changes. Adet, Rin. More of Agnes's friends. Real, what is this, a field what trip? What are you two doing here? We're here to tell you off. Duh. I thought I already told you that you need to let Agnes live her own life. You have serious tunnel vision when it comes to her, and you need to do something about it. Yeah, because you got no chance, Albert. You don't even have a last name. Your ass is cooked. N no, I don't. I just... Oh, right. I'm Odette, by the way. Nice to finally meet you all. I've heard a lot about you guys from on Yes. Oh, you must be fairy. Oh, my goodness. You really are so adorable. And wow, I knew you were hot, Aaron, but the sun's got nothing on you. And, well, yeah, Van, you've got some mega bad boy vibes, which, trust me, only makes you look cooler. You're a lot younger than I was expecting, by the way. I thought you'd be way older. No offense. Thanks. But please, you're being very rude. Damn, no off button in this girl, huh? <laughs> Don't mind our resident ball of energy over here. We're all members of Aramis Academy Student Council. Agnes is in charge of general affairs. I apologize, our treasurer got a little... ahead of himself. That's nah, fine, can't blame the kid for being worried. But her wants have to come first and foremost so far, and I plan on keeping it that way. <sighs> Sounds like a good deal to me. Well, all I ask as student council president and her dorm neighbor is that you do your best to keep her safe. Now, let's get going, Albert. Agnes clearly still has some work to do. We should leave her to it. So does Van know who Rin is, or is this the one person he doesn't know? Wait, I I'm not finished! 
Really? Who wins? Very well. As long as you finish the budget I asked you to handle, you Van's can stay. ability to know every single person or Rin's, you know, mega genius ability to not be detected. You did finish that before coming Who out. Who do the writers here, like more? Um, well... <sighs> Meanwhile, Agnes handled every one of those tedious purchase requests I made before coming to her quote-unquote actual job. If you want to fault others for how they handle their affairs, you'd best have your own in order first. Okay, Rose, really, I really need to end the video. Well, good day to you, Mr. Please. Spriggan. I'll see you back at the dorms, Agnes. See you tomorrow, Agnes. Don't come home too late. Thank you. Have a safe trip back, everyone, because I didn't even save it. We fought the stupid monster, I don't think. So if we don't get to a save, I'll have to, like, I'll redo all that shit. Which isn't that big of a deal, but I don't really want to do it. Who the hell's the one with the purple hair? I'm wondering the same thing. She's not the kind of student you see her every day. I, mean, I guess I could leave the game running and try and come back and finish the video, but hard to believe it's in five years. Okay, so he, of course, knows her. She ain't the lost kitten she was back then anymore. She's really grown up. Of course. But, I mean, that also makes sense if my, like, working theory is that he was also experimented on. That they would know each other. What was that all about? You know, the call from home that was so important, you ditch it to the middle of a job. Honestly, fuck you guys, okay? Don't need a 30 minute cutscene. Hey, don't be mean. It's not like we weren't perfectly capable of handling stuff. Of course we were, but that's not the point. It's fine to have shit come up from time to time, but not for other people. You know, to get off in our business about it. You might be doing what you think is best, but you should ask yourself if you're doing right by everyone around you. That's all I'm saying. Well... It's just important whether you're Heiyue, a Jaeger, or some Joe working a desk job. It's crazy to me that I'm the one pushing this and not you. Yeah, I don't really care. Your old man starting to have a problem with your side gig? How do you know? I don't know, squad, I'm just guessing. I haven't changed my stance since you started working here. You make the calls on what you want to do with your life. Whether that leads you to stick around or leave is up to you. So if your family's going to start interfering, I might have to be careful with what I ask you to do from here on out. It's the opposite of what you all seem to think. He was only checking in on me. My father is a busy man. He doesn't even have time to send the occasional letter like Fairies does. I haven't spoken to him in three months, so I didn't want to pass up a chance. I really am sorry about running off. That's what it was. Honestly, I thought I was going to get yelled at for being late the other day or taking on this dangerous job. Even though I'm sure he knows everything I've been doing, he didn't have a word of criticism about it. Aren't you going to say anything, Dad? Anything at all? You aren't going to tell me to give up my dangerous part-time job? Or not to go traveling without permission? Your grades meet my expectations. Your attendance is solid, and your lateness the other day was relatively minor. Your reputation as part of the student council is also excellent. As far as the public eye is concerned, you're conducting yourself well. I see no reason to dictate what you do with your personal time. <laughs> I will ask but two things of you, Agnes. One is to avoid causing any direct trouble for me. The other is to do nothing that would embarrass your mother. As long as you honor those two requests, your life is yours to live. And if you require assistance with anything, you know who to call. They will handle almost anything for you. They could probably spare you from needing to do that job of yours in the first place even. In short, it's not going to be a problem for me to keep working, as I've been doing. It should be the last time I have to run off like that, too. I ain't up to me to poke my nose on other people's family business. But it sounds to me like he trusts you, and that's worth something. Was that what that sounded like? It sounded more like he didn't really give a shit. <laughs> it's up to you what you want to do with the Genesis, or whether you want this job to begin with, am I wrong? That was like benign neglect, not... Trusting. Ah, oh, shit. One second. Either way, I'm happy to be able to keep working with you all. 
Yeah, we're happy to have you too. Trying to fall behind though. You've been doing this longer than you have. But I'm with Fairy on this one. Just trying to do something about that friend of yours. We can't have him barging in half the damn time in the future. I'll do my best to clear up his misunderstandings, or barring that, at least get him to promise to leave us alone. Yeah, you tell him the truth and he'd lose his shit. So this is an example of the ends justifying the means, huh? Now I get it. I mean, it is, but try not to learn any life lessons from it. This is... You got a moment, Van? No, I don't! Not often I get a call from you. You got work or something? We just wrapped a job up, so we're free if you want to talk it Perfect. out. But I'm not the one with the request. I was asked by an acquaintance to hook them up with some FaceTime with you. I gave them your work number, so they should be calling any time now. Please don't. Up to you whether you take them on, though. I'm not taking She's going straight to the answering machine. Alright, got it. Van is not home. Where, oh, where could he be? Sounds like that was the tabloid geek. Guy's got nothing on me, but he's got the looks. I'm like a certain crusty old fart, I know. You wanna take this outside, Brad? I think Van's pretty good looking, though. I think he'd cry with joy if he heard you say that. There it is already. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried I wouldn't be able to get through. Let's go to the sand place. No way. For real? Isn't that... When did Dingo tell me I had a client? I never dreamed it'd be you. <laughs> I see a new face among your number, too. In any case, I'm very much hoping to work with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me next time after I save. Honestly, you can all go... All right, see you tomorrow at 7 p.m. Of course, I'll make sure I tell everyone going somewhere this time. Uh, good night, everyone. Bigger fairies coming. What about you? Damn, like I could send out to here and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me, give me free control. Give me free control. Not that I can blame you. The story would have gotten anyone's interest. Guess that means we're all going to Tharbad. No, don't, don't flash out flashback. No flashback. <laughs> A film festival once uh, held every year in the city of Macedon to the north, though I heard the year was canceled about two months back thanks to a terrorist threat. One in Macedon certainly was. This was something else. It's a new event taking place for the first time this year, packed by the Principality. It's going to be called the Tharbad Film Festival, real original name, and sponsored by Vegas Films. Right, I remember hearing about that. Now that you mention it, Vegas is a film distributor that's had a bunch of big hits lately, right? All directed by some freak named Gotti. Ah, oh, Golden Blub is one of those, right? That's right, they're still a relatively new company. The director prioritizes entertainment value above all else, and his films can be a bit uh, extreme in their content. If you want extreme, try watching the director's cut. Now that was spicy. I can't. I'm still 16. I mean, no one gives a shit on yes. What's a director's cut? Oh, that's a very, that's a big can of worms you just opened. <laughs> Vegas films wouldn't be where they are without Salvatore Gatti. No one makes cinema the way he does. I'm guessing the whole thing's mostly an excuse to give his company and their releases most of the awards. One second. Not at all. Gotti's determined to make the judging process completely fair and impartial. Most of the nominated films are mass marketed, but a wide variety of directors, actors, and actresses are invited. I am one of those actresses, as is the other client for this request. So that's the context behind this threatening letter that showed up at your agency? It reads like this. The client to participate in the Tharbad Film Festival. A tragedy will befall you. The same letter was sent to other companies connected to ours too. We can't rule out the possibility that it's just an elaborate prank, but we're still concerned. An elaborate prank? It's just a letter. It's not that elaborate. Definitely can't ignore it when another film festival's already been canceled because of a terrorist threat. I go up or could have sent these things as I knew you'd feel that way. My agency's been trying to persuade me not to attend because of the danger involved. But I'm still a relatively inexperienced actress, so I think the festival could be a valuable opportunity. Another client for this job feels the same way and was what inspired us to look for potential help. That's what you chanced on us, huh? You're a lot gutsier than you look. When I met you all earlier today, it reminded me of some rumors I heard about you in the industry. And since I already knew Dingo from when he previously helped with some trouble in my agency, I asked him for your number. Your team just seems like the most reasonable option. In this line of work, image is everything. So I really don't want to get the police involved and turn this into a big deal. But the guild isn't really suited to delicate matters like these either. 
Makes sense. Branches have always struck me as prioritizing their code above all else, avoiding anything remotely illegal. Yeah. They would never do anything illegal like, you know, participate in the overthrow of a government. Yeah, braces are heroes of justice, first and foremost. If you need more flexibility, the H guys. Bingo's brought me showbiz related jobs in the past, so this wouldn't be my first time doing one. First time one, but this big, though. Hope you know this ain't gonna of come course. cheap. You'd be protecting the film festival. That's quite a task. If you are willing to do this, I'd like you to plan to arrive in Tharbad the day after tomorrow. I'd then like you to nose around for any suspicious activity during the three days leading up to the festival. However you do that is up to you, of course. I'm aware you traditionally handle requests through that 4SPG system of yours. Myself and the other client will provide for your expenses and compensation out of our personal funds, too. Great. All right. Good talk. We'll sign the contract later. Makes sense. Rising star already filthy rich. Now you got me curious what this other client is. Hmm. Yeah, this is going to be longer than our visit to Longport, even. What to do? Van, I'm glowing. Hmm? Huh? What is it? Uh, don't sweat it. The world's not going to end in like a year or a few months or whatever. Haha. <laughs> anyway, this is a really big ask out of the blue, so we'll discuss it and call you back. For, uh, yep. Okay, getting everything up on our end to arrive in Thorbad in time for the day after tomorrow. I'm sorry for easy. imposing on you. It's just that I only really decided after meeting you in person. I can't believe these MFers. Oh, uh, but considering the short notice, cut scene. maybe I could offer you a little something extra to sweeten the deal. Nope, I'd be don't happy care. to treat you to a limited edition confection available at the Algemira, a six-star hotel in Tharbad. Six stars. By God. Oh yeah, tell me more. Just it's for called reference. called Melfita, a type of chocolate made using camel's milk. They combine it with highly valuable cacao pulp too, I believe. The result is a unique, full-bodied sweetness that caresses your tongue. Ah, right, okay, yeah, that's cool. We'll take the job. We'll, we'll uh, yeah, I'll take the job. <laughs> I'll have to thank Dingo for his advice. I'll be looking forward to your response then, Mr. Arkride. Guys. You are such a damn pushover. Well, I've never been to Tharbad before, so I'm kind of looking forward to it. I've been there before, so I ain't got to help you. Let's get around a little. I don't mind you guys coming along. Just make sure you take care of everything you got to do here first. Make sure you got a lot of schoolwork to do, Farida. And you got to get your license renewed, right? Oh, you're right. If nothing else, I need to get my math homework done. I know about the license, but man, it's a pain. Can't I just go on out wonder for a few days? Like hell you can! Remember back in the day when we had the technology to autosave during cutscenes? Was it a coincidence? Nah, like hell it was. Back in the original trilogy when it would even autosave in between like fights? Like phases of bosses and shit? Good times. City's always got a nice ambience to it when it's ran, but something smells a bit off. Okay, they're sniffing. Alright, good goodbye. Need to go. Uh, have fun, everyone. Nice day. See ya.